channel and if you are new here my name is unique and if you are not subscribed I don't know what you ain't know but anyway today's video is going to be on this y'all know I love doing my colors I love my combinations this hair this is basically my spring twist hair from my brand my company Dorney Beauty Supply and basically I'm gonna tell you all the details within the video I'm not gonna do too much talking but make sure that you check out the description box and also comment below and let me know if you if you if you feel in this color combination or you daring enough to try a whole bunch of colors I got three different colors in my head right now okay that's enough talking I'm gonna let y'all jump right into the video okay y'all so if y'all new to my channel then I'm going to show you how to twist the hair I've done this numerous times in other videos so the clips that you see coming up along with the voiceover coming up is from a previous video however for my look I actually used three and a half bags and I split every strand but I'm going to show you how you can either twist it split twist it split or twist it whole but for my look again I use three and a half bags and I twist it every strand the colors that I use were T350 one bag of T350 one bag of T purple and two bags of the T dark blue okay so here I took a hanger that I had around the house and I just broke the end of it and I taped it to the desk so I would have something to twist the hair onto this is what the hair looks like as a single strand in order to achieve the look I you I basically did two types of twists. The first one is when I split the hair into two. You take the hair and when you split it into two, you are going to kind of pull left and right. Work it basically to the point where it comes it splits without um getting tangled. Once you do that, you'll have two strands. And I'm going to take one strand at a time and I'm going to apply some eco or echo style gel and you don't have to apply a lot just just enough to wet it but mostly focusing on the ends of the hair And once you apply it, um, what you want to do is when you are twisting, you do not have to twist tw tight. As you'll see, I'm actually touching the strands with my whole hand and I'm just kind of tossing it left over right. Again, you do not have to pull and you do not have to twist tight. Just go left over right and then... Once you get to the end, you are going to basically take your finger and you're going to twist that until it circuit until it basically curls back up. But again, I'm speeding up right now, but it is a light twist. And you can add more gel to make it curl a little bit more and once you let it go it'll actually stretch back this hair is very bouncy and that's the final look of one of the strands I'm going to show you again with the other strand you do the same thing you apply just a little bit of gel and you honestly um, when you split it, you you have you, you need to use some type of product. In my opinion, you need to use some type of product. If not, if you do it the other way, which is coming up, you really don't have to use product. I'm gonna do the same thing, and we're gonna twist it. Basically, just throwing the strand left over right. Now, once you get to the end of it and you're trying to twist it to make it curl, even if that curl does not go as you want, you can cut the end of it. 
you'll see me cutting the ends of this one because it did not curl to the extent that I wanted it to. Sometimes the gel will help with that and then sometimes it won't. So what you can do is you can cut the, the little scraggly ends off just to make it look better. And again, I wanted mine to, I didn't want mine to be uniform. I wanted them to look the way they are looking now. And then this method is the one where you just leave the strand as is. What you're going to do is you're just going to pull it apart and not even stretch it out. Just tug on the strand until it's a, just a little bit raggedy. <laughs> and then you're going to apply the gel and you're going to twist it the same way, left over right. And then when you leave it whole, it, it's actually much easier to twist and again I'm just tossing the strands left over right once you get to the end of it you can really just take that and twist it when you leave it whole it's much easier for those ends to stay together and now you'll see pretty much the difference of when you split versus once you keep it whole Yes, I'm stopping the video to ask you why you ain't subscribed. If you subscribe, you already know what's up. What's up, cousin? How you doing? Comment below, you know, how you doing? How your day going? You know, just let me know what what time are you watching this at, you know? But if you ain't cause, part of the cousin, that means you ain't subscribed. I don't know what you waiting on. You got this far in the video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You gonna wanna see more. You gonna wanna see more of these crazy combinations and all the other stuff that I got coming for y'all. Okay, that's enough. Let's get back to the video. Okay, y'all. So, for this braid pattern, I pretty much did the zigzag braid method. And I have 14 braids in the front and I have 6 braids in the back. The braids in the back, I just did pretty much. I just felt and then I parted and then I combined the braids. Those are straight parts, but in the front, all zigzag. Now, here is the tea blue followed by the tea purple and then also the tea burgundy. I used three and a half bags. So I used two bags of the tea, tea blue, the purple, and then I also had the burgundy. So I used a whole bag of the tea blue and then a half a bag of the tea blue. Well, dark blue, I should say. But the color is as vibrant as it looks in this video, y'all. The color of that blue is so pretty and the purple is pretty as well. But that blue, y'all, is something about this blue that it just pops. And when I do my crochets, I always start in the front because you can fill up the front as much as you need to because the front is going to cover the back. Yeah, once I put it in, I was just like, this, this blue is just, it, it's fire, I can't even lie. The blue is just so pretty. It's as vibrant, I'm telling y'all, it's really as vibrant as it is in this video. So when I'm inserting my crochet needle, I'm actually inserting it into the middle of the braid. And then I only knot my hair one time. I don't do double knots when it comes to the spring twist hair. And then I go, I actually rotate from left to right. So if on the left side, on the lower left braid, I put 12 twists, I'm gonna put 12 twists on the lower right side of the braid. Of, of my head I should say so I go maybe I'll do two braids on the left and then I'll do two braids on the right y'all and once it's pre once the front is done I put that all up into a ponytail like I said y'all look at the colors those colors are as vibrant as they look on your on your phone or on your camera or however you're watching this but they are very vibrant so once you do the front then you're gonna head over to the back and then pretty much you'll be done in no time And 
y'all the back is completely full and the hair is bouncy like usual and this color combination is so bomb y'all know i love my colors and all of this hair is available on the website And pretty much, y'all know how I do to complete the look. We are going to use She Is Bob Edge Control, and I have the little edge brush, and I'm going to comb my edges in place where I want them to go, and then follow by the brush on the other side to basically lay them down. And this is pretty much the final look, y'all. When I say I love this color combination, like the like I said, y'all, the color of this hair is very vibrant. Am I even saying it right? I don't know, y'all. But <laughs> y'all get the point. This is the final look, and I loved how it turned out. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about this. Okay, cousins, thanks so much for watching. I hope I provided all the information. Um, don't forget to comment below, and I just appreciate y'all so much for taking the time to watch my video. And again, this hair is from my brand, my company, Dorney Beauty Supply, and the hair will be available, and that will be, honestly, it's gonna be right here on the screen the whole time I'm talking, the website that you can purchase it from. The biggest question that I always get about my company and my website and the hair that I sell is how long does shipping take? I'm gonna tell y'all, I keep the hair on hand, and when I keep the hair on hand, when y'all orders come through, I'm feeling them as soon as they come through because I know me, I don't like to sit and wait for my stuff, so I don't like y'all to sit and wait for y'all stuff. At most, depending on where you at, it can take anywhere from two to three days after you place your order. So, thanks so much for watching, and I appreciate y'all. My dog is barking, so until next time.